Hello guys, my name is Jay and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video from Barbara Willow. What we're going to be having a look at is the Kit Sound Hive 2 wireless speaker. Now this is a Bluetooth and NFC capable wireless speaker. It comes in at around about the 30 to 50 pounds mark, depending on which colour you go for. This comes in a variety of different colours, so I've got the blue model here, but you can get it in black, white, pink, purple, red, yellow, pretty much any colour, you name it, they do it. In this video, I'm not just going to be unboxing it, but I'm going to actually be testing this out as well, so you guys can get a feel of what the sound quality is like. So without further ado, let's go and unbox this and let's see what we get first off. Then I will actually show you how to connect it and what it sounds like. First off, you get your manual. This basically just shows you how to pair the device and also other information about the speaker. We then have this blue box here. In this box, we have our micro USB to charge the device. We have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. So if the speaker ever runs out of battery, then you can use it wired. And then also here, we have a lovely little carry pouch, which opens up and has the kit sound branding on it. And it's nice that they've included this, as it keeps your device nice and protected when on the go. And here we have the main part itself, the speaker. It looks really nice in this blue colour. We have the kit sound branding here. On the back, we have the label. We have our 3.5mm auxiliary line in. And we also have the micro USB to charge it. On the bottom here, we have the two sticky stands which make it really nice because it doesn't really move around anywhere. It's nice and sturdy on the desk and won't be pushed off easy. On the left hand of the device, we have the NFC logo. Now this device can actually be paired by one touch communication. Now this NFC means that basically, if your phone has NFC, then you can just tap it on here and then it will connect straight away. On the top here, we have our four buttons and all you have to do to turn on the device is hold it down for five seconds. As you can see there, the power button stays green. This is also a battery indicator, so when it gets low, it will start turning red, and then when the battery goes below 35%, it will go all red, and you know when to charge it. As you can see here, the Bluetooth button is flashing blue, which means that it's waiting for a connection. To turn off the device, you just hold down the power button for five seconds again. We also have our volume down and volume up rocker. Some of the standout features are that this has 12 watts of power, which is quite decent for a wireless Bluetooth speaker. It also has up to 12 hour playback time, which is quite high in comparison to other wireless speakers of this size. The Bose Soundlink Mini 1 only has 10 hours. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is show you how to pair the device and then show you a couple of songs to show you how it sounds. So I'm going to power the device on and then come onto my phone and as you can see the Hive 2 is available device there and now it's connected for the first time. I'm just going to show you the NFC because I know some of you guys watching might actually like that feature. Okay so for the NFC to work make sure that you have the NFC feature turned on and also your Bluetooth on your phone. So all you have to do for the NFC is basically just tap your phone on the speaker And as you can see, it says connecting Hive 2, Hive 2 connected. So it's just so, so easy to connect this to the wireless speaker. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just play you a bit of a song and show you what the sound is like on the Hive 2 wireless speaker. Okay, so that's the sound test done, and in my opinion, it did actually sound really good. The sound is quite loud, bassy, and also you can hear a bit of treble in there as well. For the price of this unit, I think it's really, really good. You're getting a good quality speaker and good sound. I mean, it might not be as good as the Bose Soundlink and also the Beats Pill, but they're over double the price of it, so that's what you've got to weigh up when you're going for a wireless speaker. You've got to make up your mind that is it worth spending over double the money and not actually 
probably that much difference. I will leave that decision up to you guys. That is an unboxing of the Hive 2 wireless speaker from Kit Sound and also a little sound test. If you have any questions on that product, then leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button if you've enjoyed it and also subscribe for more tech unboxings and gaming content. Make sure you follow our social media and our Twitter page is at Barbara Willow TV and also the Instagram page is Barbara Willow. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.